See that stuff on the end? That came out of my face. That's nasty. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this video, instead of getting ready with me, you're gonna get unready with me. I do makeup videos all the time, showing you guys how I get ready, and I wanted to show you the products that I use and love for when I'm getting unready, but also want to kind of do a treatment and maybe like have a little spa night. So tonight I'm in my bathroom, I have my wine, and we're gonna do a little bit of a treatment spa night because I just worked out in this makeup and I've been doing really good. I don't know if you guys have been following for a while. I was on Accutane last year cleared up hormonal acne that I had really bad and I've been really diligent about cleaning my face. So I have not had many, if any, real breakouts. An occasional like clog something like I have here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I don't get much. Just another reason why I wanted to do a treatment today. So please excuse my hair. I literally just came out of the garage. Before we get into this video, you know the drill. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you've been here, thanks for sticking around. I love my family. We are growing and you guys are the best. So let's get into the video. I'm going to show you guys how I get unready. I'm sorry if this angle is a little weird. My tripod literally does not go lower than this and it's sitting up <laughs> on my vanity in the bathroom. So I hope this is okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The very first thing that I like to do, this is my little skincare bin that I have on top of my vanity and I just pull stuff out of there, but I do have staples that I love. So the first thing, I use makeup wipes. And I use these to take off the initial bulk of the makeup because this is a face full. I usually just use one. No, this is not the only step. There are several steps. It takes me quite a while to get ready for bed, but I ain't got nothing else to do, so whatever. So I mainly focus around the hairline. I usually do all this stuff in the shower, to be honest, but I've been wanting to film this for a while, so I do the hairline first so that my shower cap doesn't always look so gross around the edges. It still happens though. But I'm gonna do my whole face right now because I wanna try to get off as much of the makeup as I can before I start the process. I never get all my mascara off. I don't care what I do. I don't like scrubbing my eyes and scrubbing my eyelashes because I don't want them to fall out. So. You will see, I probably will still have mascara on when it's all said and done. So this is the makeup wipe. <laughs> and my makeup is not all the way off. I do my makeup because like I want it to stay on. So as you can see, I'm gonna go get my ring light, but as you can see, still have mascara on. I definitely still have foundation on. So then we move on to the next step to help remove this even more. All right, sorry about the light. So the next thing we do is we take a sip. <laughs> no, but really. Next thing I do is also another makeup removing step. And this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love this. I've mentioned this in a favorites video. I have two backups and this is a brand new one. I just take a good little chunk of it and I warm it up between my fingers and then you see it starts to turn into kind of like an oil. It breaks down and then I concentrate this mainly on my eyes to help break down this mascara and it does not burn so you're perfectly fine. And then really just work this in. And like I said, it doesn't burn but you can see like I still have mascara on trying to get it off but I just don't spend enough time messing with my eyelashes, so that is that. So then once you rub this in, breaks everything down, then you just rinse it off. All right, so now, looking a little cleaner, but this is not clean enough. Mm-mm, we are not done. Next, we move on to a true cleanser. 
So I use two cleansers. The first one I'm using is the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. Love the smell of this. It has little scrubbing beads in it. You can kind of see them sitting up there. I love how this smells. It cleans, it smooths, and it purifies. So I'm usually, like I said, in the shower, so face is a little damp. I don't use a lot of this, probably about this much here. And I try to spend like 30 seconds at least. I'm sure you could do more, but honestly, I'm using so many different products that I think I'm okay. I love the smell of this. It's like citrusy. I like that it foams up a little bit. It just makes me feel like it's really getting my skin clean. So I'm gonna do this and then rinse this off and then show y'all the next one. Now, could I stop there? Yeah, probably. Face feels really good, feels hydrated, feels moisturized, does not feel tight or dry or anything like that, but no, we're not done. Next step, I have another cleanser. I like to use AHAs, BHAs. As you can see, I have hyperpigmentation, so I try to use treatments that are going to help with that. This is the Exuviance Normal to Combination Deep Clean AHA Cleanser. I did get this as a sample, but I've been using it and I absolutely love it. If I'm not using this one, I will use the Murad AHA BHA Cleanser, which you guys have also seen in a favorite. Um, so not out the norm that I'm using a product like this. So again, I dampen my face and I'm just gonna go in with this one. I don't use as much because at this point I know my face is clean. This is kind of overboard, but this is what has been working for me. I also love the smell of this one. This smells like I'm in a spa. So again, just rub this everywhere. I don't rub this one on my eyes and then rinse it off. This is the last cleansing step and then I'll move to the next one. This next step I am pretty excited about because this is a tool. Cos Beauty reached out to me and told me about a tool that they have and this is their Acurial. Acurial <laughs> Peeling Pro EX. This is a blackhead spatula device. This does come in different colors. I'm going to show you guys right here if I can not knock everything over. This is the charging base and then this is the device here. So when you put it in the charger, you can see this red light blinking. It is charged, but I had it off the charger once it charged. So when it needs to be charged, the red light is blinking. This actually has four different settings and then this is what it looks like so you can see it has the little spatula here you can use it with toners you can use it with your serums you can use it with your moisturizers now i wish i could have tried to memorize but listen me and technology and big words at 9 30 at night do not get along so i'm going to read some of the key points to you guys it says it has 28,000 times per second what that's crazy. High frequency ultrasonic oscillation technology. It is an electrical muscle stimulation. So when you are using it, you want to sweep upwards in every area that you do. It exfoliates, it breaks up dirt inside the pores. It has clean ultrasonic ions, cleans the dirt in the deep layers of the skin, and then also attracts and absorbs your, to help absorb your skincare products. It's also waterproof. Now here's the thing, you cannot submerge this in water. Like if you're in the shower, you're using it, or your face is wet and you're using it, that's fine, but you can't dunk it in water, so don't do that. And then after you're done using it, you are supposed to wipe it off to clean it. I do like that this also, of course, comes with a manual, thank God, because you want to make sure that you're doing it right to get all the benefits out of it. So here's the manual and it tells you each of the different steps that you can use, the different modes. And it does come with the power source for you to be like the block for you to plug the USB. And I hate when they give you that and don't give you the block. So as you can see right here, it clearly says, you want to rub upwards and you want to do it in a 30 degree angle on your face, which is about right here and just constantly moving upwards. They have 
four different modes. First one is the peeling and it's a low and a high mode. And then they have a clean, a moist, and a lift. The peeling mode, it says, please moisturize your skin with water before using. Do not press firmly against your skin or apply to the same area at every time. So you wanna make sure you're moving it around your face. And then it says it's better to use the device when your skin is still warm after bathing, or you can apply a hot towel to your face before using it. And then once you're done, if you're doing the peeling ultrasonic cleansing mode, then you go on with the rest of your steps. The clean mode says that it actually helps to expel dirt from your pores. And it says you moisturize your skin with a toner first. Now, when you move to the moist mode, you're going to turn it the opposite direction and you're gonna push also up 30 degree angle with the power button inwards. Yeah, that's how I had it. And then you're also, it's a lot. That's why I keep my manual out so I know like which one I wanna do. This one says use the toner before as well. This helps to moisturize and absorb your nutrients, which is where we are now. And then the last step, is your lift mode. It also says use a toner before, and it also says same direction as well. So when you're trying to expel and clean, you go like this. When you're moisturizing and applying your serums, you go like this. So to turn it on, all you have to do, you press the power button, it is on, it is lit up, and then when you wanna go between modes, you can hear it. So right now we are on the peeling low, Press it again, peeling high. Press it again, we're at clean, moist, and lift. Two seconds, three seconds, you turn it off. So that is it. So right now, do we wanna exfoliate? It even tells you like how long you should use it, how often per week you should do it. So keep this handy so you know what you're doing. So I have a wet towel, it's hot. I'm just gonna put it on my face. And it does say that you don't want your skin to be dry, so you want it to be a little damp. So I'm just gonna take some hot water. And it says when you want to exfoliate, you're going to do this for about a minute. And you only do this once or twice a week. So I've turned it on and I'm gonna put it on peeling low. And I'm just going to press. Oh, do y'all see that? I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's literally smoke. I'm sure it's not smoke, but this thing is actually, I hope you can see that. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't messed with it on this setting. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I hope you can see. It's like it's steam coming off of it. And it says you only do this about a minute, so not gonna stay long on that. So that is done, that feels good. So next we're gonna go to clean mode. I'm gonna use my toner. The toner that I have is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Like I said, working on my dark spots, so I always just put this in my hands and then I pat it into my face. This step you do with the clean and it says that you can do this for up to three minutes, two to three times a week. I'm not gonna do it that long. I do feel a little bit, I don't feel any difference. And I also don't see what I saw earlier with the smoke coming off of it. Comment below and let me know if you guys have tried anything like this before. This is so cool. All right, we're gonna stop there with that one. The next step is moist, which also says use with a toner containing vitamin C. Now I do want to use a serum and I think you can, let me make sure. Mm. I could have sworn I saw that. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is my Murad Advanced Radiant Serum. This does have vitamin C in it, so we're going to use that. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. And then we are gonna turn the tool around. Oh my God, this feels so good. I know it's a lot of steps, but like I said, this is more for like a spa night. This is not, I do this every day. So 
we're going to turn it back on we're going to go to moist we're going to turn it the opposite direction and we're just moving it upwards oh this is so cool and it feels good because it's vibrating so as you can see 30 degree angle not putting it flat not pushing hard and this one also says you can do it for three minutes but i think we're good there my face is starting to get dry and then last for lift also says use with a toner and it says that you can use this every day this is more just a massage so for this one i'm going to use a light light moisturizer i like using my glow recipe watermelon pink juice this is super light and i feel like it's more like a it's not like a moisturizer like you would normally sleep with for me i use thicker moisturizers so this is just going to make sure my face is wet because it does say keep your face wet and now we're doing the lift setting and just pressing again upwards this feels so good y'all and if this helps with my forehead wrinkles i'm going to be in love i should have used the exfoliate i'm probably going to do that in the morning because i've noticed that i have like my pores on my nose are starting to get clogged and i want to get that out so that is it that is all the steps for this this is absolutely amazing i'm going to wipe it off just to make sure that it's clean and then I'm going to finish up. I do like to do sheet masks on my spa night. So I have one for my eyes. This is a Sephora Hydro Instant Hydrogel Eye Mask for depuffing and moisturizing. And then I also love just their sheet mask. I have different ones. I prefer using these when I want the spa feeling because it's like the sheet on your face and everything. But I do also have other masks that rinse off. But... I'm tired of rinsing off so that is it i know it's a lot of steps if i'm not putting a mask then i use an overnight moisturizer this has been one of my favorites this is the dermalogica sleep sound sleep cocoon this is a transforming night gel or i will use my glow recipe watermelon sleeping mask but tonight i'm going to do one of my sheet masks and then i'm not going to put anything else on eye cream this is what I've been using right now. This is the Bosha Indigo Eye Cream. I've been using this one almost out of it. I like this one under makeup. It's purple and it helps to brighten. And then I also use, almost like this up here, my Grande Lash on my eyelashes. So that is it. All right, we are back. Day two. This is actually a few days later because I've honestly just been a little lazy and I did not want to I also didn't want to use the tool too many days back to back exfoliation said do once or twice a week so it's been a few days I think it's the perfect time I have already put a hot towel on my face my face is wet but what I wanted to show you guys I'm about to be all up in the camera is like right here I don't know if you guys can see this or not but like there just looks like probably not because my skin is wet I've been having some clogged pores on my nose. Um, the little bump I had over here the other day has gone away. So we're doing pretty good, but I'm going to wet a towel. And I'm just going to apply that to my nose just to make sure it is warm and everything is open. And then we're going to do the exfoliation on high because I want to see if I can actually see the gunk coming out of my nose. All right, so got the tool. We're gonna put it on peeling H and we're just gonna go in. I'm gonna go in in the areas that I feel like I have the most issues. I'm not gonna do my whole face this time, but you can see it looks like steam is coming off my face. Absolutely love how this feels. And then I really wanna try to get in these crevices here. I'm not pushing really hard. I'm trying to like look in the mirror. You can see on the tool right there, a little bit of water and some gunk. And then I also like to do this area here because I do get clogged pores here. So I'm just gonna go 
back on this area again and I can see some of the white stuff coming out. Yes, this is what I wanted. Can y'all see that? Okay, so that is enough. So now if I put this close, get my big head out of the way so the camera can focus on this. Look at this. See that stuff on the end? That came out of my face. That's nasty. And I did my whole face wash routine with wash it a bunch of times and all that. So this is what I hoped for and this is what we got. So that is what I wanted to show you guys. That is it for this video. Unfortunately, I do not have a discount code, but the link to pick up this tool for yourself is in my description box. So please, if you are interested and you think you have pores that are clogged or a lot of congested skin, check this out. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Comment, let me know some of your favorite skincare products. And if you give yourself like a little spa night, you know, a little relaxation routine before bed or whatever, let me know what you include. I'd love to hear from you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.